What you just observed is a phenomenon known as gas overturn occurring in a lake very near our volcano. Carbon dioxide gas generated in the volcanic activity deep in the heart of the earth has been seeping up through geologic structures such as faults and joints and accumulating in the cold water of the deeps of the lake. Once the water had become saturated, it overturned violently, releasing a wave of toxic carbon dioxide gas that would flow down the side of the mountain and have a devastating effect on the unsuspecting villagers living below. A similar tragedy to this occurred in, at Lake Neos in Cambodia, killing thousands of people and animals. Although not as fatal, similar activity is seen at the Yellowstone Caldera where geysers and vents are very active. Here, at this small town near our volcano, the result was absolutely devastating. Hundreds died. <laughs> <clears throat> Back to science now. The following is a helicopter panorama taken days before the terrible tragedy that occurred at the small town near our volcano. You can see a highly complex civilization including brutal temple sacrifice going on. The villagers apparently worshipped a volcano god and affixed the decapitated heads of their victims to the top of this small temple in an attempt to appease the god and prevent the volcano from erupting. As you will soon see, it did not work. The volcano erupted anyway, and most of the villagers are now dead, if not suffering from horrific wounds caused by lahars and tephra falls and other terrible volcanic hazards. And then came the ash cloud. Tephra Fall descended upon the villagers, burning into their skin and incinerating trees. The gods had not been pleased. But back to science now. The geologic activity which had resulted in the eruption of this volcano now led to massive earthquakes, destroying villagers' homes and causing them to wonder what on earth could happen next. So what did happen next? You know something happened. Lars! Lars! Please ignore the temple bipping. Warning, the following images may be graphic and viewer discretion is advised. Although you may find this hard to believe, the intensely realistic and graphic scenes you just witnessed were actually fabricated in a garage by a team of professionals who want you to know that building and detonating volcanoes is extremely dangerous and potentially gruesome and should not be tried at home, on the job, at school, or in someone else's garage, unless you are a professional as they were. The 
The insulating foam used to build this volcano looks almost exactly like real lava on a real volcano, but it's not. Even though it looks exactly realistic, it's synthesized. Also, this volcano probably wouldn't have lava flow since it's a heavily rhyolitic volcano and the lava would be extremely viscous and brittle. The ripple effect may be due to accumulations of lahar, such as the one you saw destroy the village not too long ago. Lahars, in case you really, really wanted to know, are basically steaming hot volcanic mudslides caused when incineratingly hot. Ash and tephra fall on glaciers, streams, etc. and generate a boiling cement of destruction that destroys small villages. No real people or villages were harmed in the making of this film. As we said, it's fake, but you may find that hard to believe.